How's it going YouTube and welcome back to another Big Friendly Gardener. Now, if you're subscribed to the channel or if you've seen our previous videos, you would have seen us showing you how to lay, prep and level this area in the last season. Now as you can see, it's gone to rack and ruin. Now, I've gone completely against my moral fibre and let this happen. Why you might ask? Well, it's to provide you a series on how to recover lawn that looks like this. So luckily, because we've let this go to rack and ruin, we're going to be able to bring you the best content to show you the cheapest, most cost effective way to bring in your lawn back. Now, I know it's not in too much of a shabby state, um, there's not too many patches and stuff like that, but it should give you a good idea if you've let the winter hit hard on your lawn on how to recover it. So I'm going to be showing you my first port of call today and then this is going to go into a series on the other steps on how to revive your lawn. Again, I just want to thank all you subscribers. I can't believe we're over a thousand. If you're not subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that like and comment to say whether you've watched our previous videos and if they've helped you before. So why don't we get on and show you the lawn and what state it's in. Okay, as you can see, in terms of patchiness, it's not too bad. We've just got a lot of dead stuff, not a lot of luscious green grass. But we're going to fix that. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need today. And let's get on with the first steps. Okay, so you're still wondering what we're doing today. You've clicked on the video and you're wondering what are we actually going to learn today. Well, I'm going to show you. The reason why I want to do it in a series and stagger it is so people don't watch the whole series, go out and do it all at once. So it's important you watch it in stages, this being the first video. Otherwise we're going to scorch the grass and we're actually going to make it worse. So listen in. Now I understand that people in the lawn care community are going to have their own opinions and stuff like this, but this is, these are the steps that we've used in the past for hundreds of customers within my company, Cut Crew Limited, based in Northamptonshire and Milton Keynes. So it's a proven method. Yes, there may be other ways. However, why don't you comment them and let us know? It's great to hear other methods and stuff like that. But as I said, this is a proven method that I use within the business. So our first step, again, we've not got many patches and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go for a pure revival on this lawn and see where we get to. So, you're going to need some iron sulfate. It's got turf hardening properties, instant nitrogen for a nice green up, kills moss if you use the right application, stops diseases and can help prevent worm casts. So this is my first port of call. We've not put any fertilizers on or anything like that this season. The reason why I'm doing this is a good turf that we do have to deal with, back up, back to life, and then we can see what we are dealing with. So you're going to need your iron sulphate and a pressurised sprayer. You do not need a pressurised sprayer, you can use a watering can, you can even put it on dry. But this makes it super easy and really effective for a good spread. So let's get on how to mix this stuff up and apply it. So here's the iron sulphate. If you do need a hand getting hold of it, you can find a link in the description for this exact product. So when we're mixing it, we work it out in per litres and I've got a six litre applicator here so we can um, times whatever's on the back by six but it's one to two grams per litre just for a green up or just for greening properties. It's three to four for turf hardening and five for moss killing. So what I'd advise is we'll put three to four on today, try and get turf hardening and some green up and we're also going to get some moss killing properties from that. So all I'm going to do, now as I said, we use this stuff day in, day out. I've got a measuring cup that I know is already suitable for the amount of water I need for a full sprayer. What I would advise you to do is get a plastic cup and measure it out. So if we've got, uh, if we've got six litres of water, six times four is 24. So you're going to need 24 grams per sprayer, okay? So all I'm going to do, I've got my water in already, I've got my six litres of water and I know that two scoops is my 24 grams. I've already pre-measured it and as I said we use it day in and day out. Now all we're going to do 
put the spreader back on. Again, if you're using a watering can, you can just mix it up. Let that dissolve. It dissolves in water. And now we're going to go ahead and apply it. Okay, so now we're all ready to go. We know that this is diluted. We can just simply apply it going up and down, making sure we get the whole area. So let's crack on. Okay, so that's all applied. As you can see, I did do two passes. I just wanted to make sure that we had an even coverage over everywhere, and I've used about a litre. So on this product, they recommend a litre. Um, depending on the mix you've chosen, make sure you always read the label. A litre for 10 square metres. Um, so this is around 10 metres, which we've done, as this is around 10 metres squared. Again, we're using chemicals, so there are safety precautions that come with it. Please read the label. The only thing I would say is do not get it on any hard standing or patio because it will stain it or got a horrible orange colour. And then I'll have to release a video on how to clean it off. So why don't we nip it in the bud now and don't get it on any patios or hard standing. Now, if you've seen our video for five tips for a healthier lawn, if you've not, you can watch it up here. You probably know what's coming. What this series is going to be about is maintaining it and keeping on top of a fertilizer program to keep them all year round green. So it's gonna be exciting. So make sure you subscribe and follow the series. I think what's coming up next in this series, I'm gonna test and monitor the lawn over the next two weeks, but I think we should get a good aeration and a good scarify. And then we can see where we're at, whether we need a reseed or anything like that, we can judge and see. Again, if you've got any questions for me, the big friendly gardener, stick them in the comments. Thank you again so much for watching and supporting the channel. All the links for the product I've used today are in the description. If you all have a fantastic week and I'm looking forward to getting out and seeing some of your gardens and helping you out. Thank you again for joining us for another video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good week.